Hello everyone. Today I'm going to introduce our work, Pianist, Scalable ZK Rops with Fully Distributed Zero Knowledge Proofs. This is the joint work with Tian Cheng, Jia He, and our advisors. In the first part, let me show you some background knowledge and our motivation. Succinct zero knowledge proof is to help a prover convince the verifier about the correctness of some statement F. To make the generated proof valid, a protocol should satisfy completeness and soundness. For completeness, it guarantees the verifier will accept the proof if the statement is correct. For soundness, it guarantees that if the statement is wrong, the verifier will reject it except for negligible probability. Additionally, the protocol can choose to satisfy the zero-knowledge and succinct property. The zero-knowledge property allows the prover to hide the private input that he uses to generate a proof of the statement. If a protocol is succinct, its verification time and proof size are both sublinear to the size of the input. One of the most popular applications of succinct zero-knowledge proof is ZK rollups and ZK EVM on blockchain. In the blockchain, each block consists of a list of transactions, and each user stores the valid status locally. Every time a new block is put on the chain, all the users should execute the transactions in the block to synchronize their valid status. However, suppose a powerful machine can compute the result and generate a succinct proof for those transactions. In that case, each user can just efficiently verify the proof and update their status with the result, which highly improves the scalability of blockchain applications. The name of this process is ZK Rollups. As for ZK EVM, the transactions in the block are replaced with smart contracts that can support more functionalities in addition to token transfer. We target a specific model called arithmetic circuits, which are constructed by the addition and multiplication gates of numbers. Currently, there are general purpose ZKP schemes designed for generating a proof for any arithmetic circuits. For example, Plunk can generate a proof with only quasi-linear time to the size of the circuit and the proof size and verification time are both constant. This scheme is popularly used in industry. Although it's already efficient, as the circuit size increases, a single node might not afford to generate a proof due to the long proof generation time and large memory cost. To solve this, people tend to accelerate the proof protocol with a distributed system. Therefore, we aim to design a distributed protocol based on Plunk. There are some prior works of distributed succinct ZKP protocol. The first one is DISIC, which is based on Growth16 based on R1CS arithmetic system. It has complex witness reduction and requires linear communication. The second one is ZK Bridge, which is based on GTR protocol and Virgo polynomial commitment and also requires linear communication. In our work, our main contribution is to develop a distributed protocol based on a variant of Plunk for general, general arithmetic circuits. Compared with Plunk, when a circuit set is n and the number of nodes is f, our protocol also has quasi-linear proving computations, constant proof size, and verification time. Moreover, we only need constant communication between the master node and 
each worker node. In short, our protocol has the same complexity of Plunk but only requires constant communication without extra requirements for the circuits. Before introducing our protocol, first let me give you a brief introduction to the Plunk. Suppose we have an arithmetic circuit consisting of a list of multiplications and additions. On the right, we can write them into two tables where the orange columns denote the left, right, and upper wires of each gate. In the plug protocol, it constructs a single table to represent the mixed operations, where the blue columns act as switches for the entries in the orange columns. After representing each column with a vector and complementing it with extra constraints, we can derive a list of vector identities for the circuit. From the vector identity, we construct a polynomial equation, where each polynomial is derived from the vector interpolated on the powers of a root of unity. Then, checking the vector identity is equivalent to a polynomial argument saying that there exists some polynomial h of x, proving that the polynomial equation can be divided by x to the n minus 1. Finally, by applying schwarz lemma, we can just check the polynomial identity on their evaluations on a random point, which can be efficiently handled by the verifier. The whole protocol is as follows. First, the prover provides the oracles of polynomials L, R, O, etc. to the verifier. Then it computes the witness H of X to prove the divisibility and sends its oracle to the verifier. The oracles help the verifier ask for evaluations and verify the polynomial identity. The protocol with oracles is called the IOP protocol. In practice, the oracle can be instantiated by a polynomial commitment scheme or PCS scheme. The cho choice in Plunk is KCG protocol. Now I'm introducing our protocol. For clarity, we only cover the version for data parallel circuits, but our protocol can be applied to general circuits. The framework is to combine a distributed IOP protocol with a distributed PCS protocol. Since from the structure of KCG, it's quite straightforward to design a distributed version of it, we only introduce the distributed IOP in this talk. During the protocol, the prover spends the main effort computing the polynomial H of X which requires the entity algorithm to accelerate the polynomial operations. Recall that the entity algorithm runs in a network of butterfly transforms, which is pretty interleaving. To distributedly compute NTT, we need to transpose the vectors in some steps so that we can design an entity core that is an identical group of computations staying on a single machine. Therefore, the communication cost is linear due to the transpose operations. Instead of resolving this challenge, we bypass it by modifying the Plunk protocol so that we can avoid the entity algorithm run across all machines. Suppose we have M machines. We partition the circuit into M parts and write an independent argument for each part. This is an illustration for M equals 2. Then we apply the following transformation to convert it to a bivariate constraint. Initially, we have this vector identity 
where each vector stores polynomials distributed in all the machines. In the next step, we apply a similar method as in Planck, converting it into a bivariate polynomial identity by interpolating each vector of polynomials on the powers of another root of unity. Later, by applying schwartz zippel lemma, we can also check the bivariate identity only on their evaluations on a random point, beta alpha. To make it clear how the nodes behave in our protocol, we illustrate the proving process as follows. Firstly, each node holds its own polynomial for each participant in the identity. Secondly, the Brewer cluster receives a random point alpha from the verifier, and each node evaluates its polynomials on this point. Thirdly, each node sends its evaluations to the master node, which can construct a new polynomial identity through the vector of the evaluation. Finally, the Brewer cluster receives another randomness from the verifier and evaluates the new polynomial identity on this point. This allows the verifier to verify the identity of the evaluations. After complementing this process with distributedly computable bivariate KCG scheme, we derive the whole protocol. At the very beginning, the Brewer distributedly commits all polynomials. Then, after the worker sends their evaluations to the master node, the master node computes a new witness hy alpha of y and commits it. In the end, the Brewer generates all evaluations and the PCS opening proof to the verifier. From the previous illustration, we conclude that our protocol has the same proving cost, verification time, and proof size as Planck. Besides, in the distributed setting, the proving cost is balancedly distributed throughout the cluster, and the communication cost between each worker and the master is only constant. There are other contributions in our work, including generalizing this scheme to arbitrary arithmetic circuits. The only point is to distributedly prove a run grand product argument. Besides, we enhance the robustness of our protocol by allowing the master node to detect the wrong proof pieces for a data parallel circuit and generate a proof for the right pieces without rerunning the other correct nodes. For those parts, please check our paper for further details. We have shown the theoretical benefit compared with Planck, and here are the evaluations of our implementation in practice. Our protocol is implemented based on the Planck implementation in GNAC library. When fixing the size of the circuit, we can observe that as the number of nodes increases, both the proving time and memory usage are reduced proportionally. This is true even when the number of nodes is small, showing that our method introduces little overhead in the distributed study. To summarize our work, we propose a fully distributed ZKP protocol for arbitrary ar arithmetic circuit. Our protocol has the same proving computation, verification time, and proof size as Planck. Also, our protocol only requires constant communication. By the experiment result, we show that our protocol has good performance in practice. Please scan the QR code to see our implementation. Thank you for listening.